Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. I still see a lot of people work on XML projects, me included. You know, there are just some older code bases which still use XML and you can easily migrate to Jetpack Compose in just a week or so. However, I feel like there's a big confusion about a few questions when it is about migrating an XML code base to Compose. On the one hand, should you even migrate to Compose or are you totally fine with XML? And then if you should, how should you do it? Should you do it all at once or migrate everything in one go or rather the step by step? And question number three, if you now start a new project in Android, then should it use XML or Compose or doesn't it really matter? In this video, I will quickly answer these few questions. So nowadays I've worked on a variety of different projects and a different scale. I've worked on pure XML projects, I've worked on projects which partly use Compose and partly XML, and I've worked on pure Jetpack Compose projects. And I think I got a good feeling for what makes sense for a code base when it is about choosing XML or Compose while still looking at it from a real life perspective. I don't just want to tell you migrate to Compose is the best technology. No, I want to evaluate that from a company's perspective where time, money and resources matter. So question number one, should you even migrate to Jetpack Compose if you have an XML code base? My personal experience in the past years where I mostly worked on Compose but also on XML code bases has clearly shown that Compose code bases are just easier to maintain. They are more convenient to work with, they are easier to extend and add more features, at least in, in regards to UI. And all in all, I've heard from many developers using Jetpack Compose that it's just much more enjoyable than XML. However, that does not mean that your highest priority should be to migrate an XML code base to Jetpack Compose all in one go. In my experience, there is a clear strategy which gives you the biggest bang for the buck. On the one hand, that strategy contains that you build new features in Jetpack Compose directly. So as you maybe know, Compose and XML are interoperable, so they perfectly work together. And that means that from now on, you can decide to build any new features UI directly in Jetpack Compose while just keeping the old code, the older features UI code untouched because that does not cost you any refactoring time at the moment while still bringing you the reward of a partly better code base. Because when building an app, priority number one should always be to make your users happy and deliver a working product. And whether that happens with XML or Jetpack Compose is secondary. So keep the priority at the purpose of the app, so the problem it should actually solve for your users. But the second part of that strategy is that as soon as you need to work on an older feature and make some changes, I would personally migrate that feature's UI to Jetpack Compose. Because that way you can migrate it first to Jetpack Compose and then benefit from Jetpack Compose directly because you need to make changes on that feature, which you can usually do faster with Compose code. And this strategy just allows you to migrate a big XML code base step by step to Jetpack Compose code. So all in all, migrating a big XML code base like this might take maybe one or two years, but then you're settled. And the company does not need to have like five developers who work on migrating to Compose full time, which doesn't bring any immediate reward for the company. And that should have also already answered the question what you should now use for new projects in Android. Definitely use Compose, it really makes your life easier. So if you haven't learned Jetpack Compose by now, then it's really the time to do that. Otherwise, you will quickly fall behind. That is how Android development works or development generally. We have to stay up to date. We have to at least be familiar with uh, the latest technologies that seem to be the future. So either play the game or lose. Most bigger companies I've heard of out there already migrated to Compose and I think there is a reason for it. And if you maybe just got into Jetpack Compose or you already feel okay with it, but you, you struggle to use that in real world projects, then definitely check out my more advanced Android premium courses down below, which all use Jetpack Compose to prepare you for the industry while feeling confident about your code. So click the link down below, check out these courses, and if you like it, then happy learning. Other than that, thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you back in the next one. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye-bye.